My name is uh, Dr. Jimmy Lamont. I'm the program leader for cereals, which is maize and rice of the National Agricultural Research Organization, based at the National Crops Resources Research Institute, Namlonge. Here we have a variety which was released in December 2021 called Perennial Rice. It's a result of collaborative research between NARO and Yunnan University. In this work, we target a developing rice variety that can be harvested many times. We gave a commercial name called Naro Rice One. Rice variety is the first of its kind in Africa. A variety that after harvesting a first time, you allow it to regrow, that is ratooning, and you get more than 50% of the first yield. And we are happy to mention that the parent used from this, for development of this variety is from Africa, the one called Oriza longis terminata. The science used in the development brought in Beijing Genomic Institute helped in fixing the new line so that we had accelerated breeding and getting a new variety as fast as we have seen. We have a product which we had never had before, which reduces cost of land opening, have environmentally friendly farming system where the soil remains stable for the whole year after planting. You get six to seven tons per hectare. Then after two months, you harvest 50% of that. You again get three tons. Then again, after two months, you get around two tons, which means at the end of the year, you have 11 tons without replanting. And the land is stable, and you are not meeting cost of land opening and planting. It's therefore a very efficient and profitable venture. This variety is aromatic. It has light grains. The grain is white and it's not sticky. So it fits both in the production, consumption, and marketing pattern of Africa. Now that the variety has been released, we are now taking it for commercialization. Then we present it to companies as certified seed. Uganda is the first country to release this variety, which is preferred by many farmers. This variety development has strengthened the collaboration between Uganda and China and African countries. And we encourage the public, scientists across borders, that Uganda has taken lead in a product that will create a revolution in the rice industry and food security.